Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperion. So I pretty much just walked over that hill in between the last two episodes. Didn't really do much with it you guys just yet. But uh, this is the place where we're going to probably hide for the first night. Um, well, we kind of get things, we'll say situated. Um, you can make this and we could make this our base if we wanted, but I really don't want to. Uh, okay, that's something we want early on, which is good. Um, tomatoes are good early on. Corn is good early on. Fiber plants are really good. Perthlings are really good. I'm not so big at durians. A lot of this stuff I use just to... Um... Oh, we need these plots, these three plots. I don't have the ability to do a multi-tool yet, do I? Alright, so we're going to go over um, the tech tree. So here is all the... Oh, there we go. Uh, the tech tree. So you unlock all your stuff by going to the next thing by basically leveling up. So here it shows your, your character player level. Three and how much you need to get to the next point. Here it shows you how many require... I just heard something really scary, so I'm just going to close that door. Um... So when I click here, for example, it shows me how much a required amount of points I need to unlock something. And here it shows me how much I need to um, I have to unlock. Also up here in the top left hand corner of each thing tells you what you have and what you need. So I'm actually going to unlock, it's called the multi-tool. I'm going to unlock that. When it comes to weapons, I'm going to unlock the assault rifle. When it comes to bases, I'm going to do the fuel tank and the generator. Fuel tank and the generator give me the ability to produce power using Prometheum. And I really don't have to worry about anything else just yet. I'm going to keep the remaining eight. That's pretty much how you unlock stuff. There is something around here, and I can hear it. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this, or maybe been that, as our first little stage base. It's actually going to be our base. I'm going to hit Y. And this should capture it, because this is just a point of interest. It's not an actual base. So we kind of luck out there. But I want to make us a whole bunch of stuff here. So first things first. Um, I'm going to move over all our natural resources. And I'm going to tell it, hey, I want you to build me some stuff here. I want you to build me a generator and a fuel tank. We're going to turn that on and it will produce. One of the good things about this game is you basically just tell it what you want in its templates and it will actually basically make what it needs for you. Um, soon I'm also going to want a water generator so I can get water as fast as I can. But I think I have a corn, I have a corn sprout. Yeah, that was that. Those things always scare me. But yeah, so we want a generator and basically a fuel tank as fast as possible. This will give us the ability, I usually do two fuel tanks. This will give us the ability to produce our own power instead of using like this, solar panels, for example. There is a solar panel on this base. Cause I've only, I've come across this point of interest before. That's how I know what to do here. Um, this thing right here is uh, basically a solar panel. And solar panels only work at night. P to access the base here. Right now, power's all on. I'm just gonna turn all this stuff off. It's working on right now 2% battery power. There was something over here. I see shadow. Okay, just a little tricer triceratopsies. So it's building us our small little generator, which I'm gonna come up with a good spot and our two um, fuel cells. Any spare parts that it uses to make stuff, it'll toss it up here in its input. And then whatever it's putting out, it'll put in the output, which is good. I'm probably going to put the generator like down here somewhere. Um, give or take. Can I make a multi-tool? I can make a multi-tool. So I'm going to make the multi-tool as well as fast as I can. Multi-tool can take things apart, put them back together again. Um, I only need to make, what, three, right? 
So let's do 10. That's 30 rounds. That's 30 clips. Early on, getting this stuff is really, really, is a real big deal. Just trying to get yourself situated. Um, if you use a point of interest that is the base at the beginning, drones won't attack you. So this is a bit of a way to get around the drone attacks. Early on. But well, one thing I am going to do is once I get the base built and situated, is I'm going to make three separate bases near on this base. One is going to be just for getting me water, um, another one is going to be just for farming, and then the other one is just for manufacturing stuff. Manufacturing goods. Um, you're going to come with me, and I'm also going to get you to produce 20 of those for me, please. And in the meantime, I'm going to put the fuel tanks in a good spot here so I'm actually gonna go one fuel tank there you can add F5 to do your construction do another one there I'm gonna put the generator just right on top nothing too crazy right now it's if I hit P it's not producing anything because it has no fuel but once you get that thing up and running it's pretty easy to keep it running they say you just use these these fuel packs The main, re the main reason why I'm getting this multi-tool up and running is because I want to kind of take some of the base apart. Then I want to get a second base on the basically on the, the same area going. Um, is it under base is the grow light? Yeah, it is. Boom. Plan is to build another generator and two fuel tanks, and then the plan would be somewhere, maybe just over here, is to build a nice long building that all it is is um, growth plots, and all it does is grow me stuff. Or it doesn't even have to be even that, it'll be possibly just a base block, and then a whole bunch of growth plots, and basically a gener generator, and a, and a whole bunch of fuel tanks. And all it does is just grow food. Just grow food. In the meantime, because we're going to be adding stuff to this base, I don't want our plants to die. Which, these plants here do have a tendency of dying off on you. So we do have to be a little careful. So what I'm going to do right off the bat is get rid of some of this stuff here. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. I don't need these like decorative stuff. Don't need to do a stamina recovery. It's gonna get rid of a lot of the stuff here I don't need. Um, like we don't need these. So you see here we learn we earn experience points just when well, I take that off these two will probably fall off uh, same with that you earn experience from taking your own base apart so if you ever build yourself a base and kind of screw up in the construction just remember you earn experience from mess ups from mistakes if I'm not mistaken I can just no nope. um, I don't have the block there to use um, let's go back to our construction thing over here real quick. Nothing's gone bad, which is good. We have 14 things of fuel, which we're now going to fuel up. Now, there's two ways of doing this. Number one, you can walk over to a fuel tank and hit F, and click your option, and then just right-click in it, and you'll see that, you know, they add power. Another way to do it is if you hit P on your base, Hit the control panel, if you start here, for example. Hit your control panel. Where it says fuel, just hit fill all. And it will just automatically fill your fuel tanks. Now I did wish it kind of showed you how much was full in there, but... And I'm do that. That one's done, that one's full by 24%, and so is that one. So unfortunately it doesn't tell you which tank is got the stuff in it. It's just a total of 24% of our fuel is being utilized. Uh, we're gonna 
I'm gonna tell it, hey, wait a minute, do me a favor, stop, and just build me one more. Actually, build me two more. I'm gonna tell it. You can have all that. Now, getting water ASAP is gonna be a good thing, but we have these corn sprouts, which I'm hoping is gonna be a good thing. I just wanna get our base. Why am I have alarm running over there? Our base up and running here. Boom, 39%. Perfect. So, next thing I wanna build is very important it's our constructor. This thing is gonna build all our stuff. Um, I also want to build a water generator because I want to get um, plots for food ASAP, which means we need basically food to go bad first, which is kind of ironic. The plan is to have at least six plots, so then we can then build ourselves just a little, a little base that we can call our our uh, our nursery. For, uh, for plants and stuff. Once we get the water going, I'm going to run down to the water, place it, throw some fuel tanks in it. Um, I think I actually need about uh, 10 of you to do that. So while these are building, we're going to replace the large constructor and come up with the next stage of plans. Which reminds me, do I have to unlock the food thing? No, food processor is already good again. It's just that I have to only build it in the large constructor. Uh, which means I need to take out a bunch of you. Oh, and I also want to build a base block. So yeah, so one of the things we want to build right away is something that can make us food and um corn i don't and i i say corn not as food because corn later on and you'll learn and you learn every food item has its own special thing so the plan will be to have some corn plants with some corn seeds in storage just in case um have some basically one of every plant type inside this little growth uh growth thing so that way i'm gonna put this over here as well I'm going to put it right there. Because it's kind of out of the way. I'm going to run it back over here and say, okay, um, don't build those and don't build that. Once this is done building the water generator, I'm going to grab everything and throw it all in our other stuff, in our other thing. Grab it. Grab it. I'm also going to shift F click. And I'm just gonna grab it and put it, uh, put it in here for now. I don't need it. And now we have the big one, which does pretty much all the work. Later on, we'll have a second one and a third one. Uh, I want some of that for something else. I. Think I think that's good. I want a food processor. And one of the next things we want to do is a growth plot. So we have the plant fibers. We have the cement. We just need a nutrient solution, which is basically rotten food. And uh, it's usually and it's made in this food processor. So while that's going, I'm now going to go over this and say I need uh, 10 of you. And that 10 of you is going to go with this water generator. And you notice it also will make this stuff a lot better. The more, the, 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 the better the fabricator, the better it is at actually doing this stuff. So I'm going to put this inside for now. And then later on, I'm going to move this. Like I said, our initial plot will probably be right here. Because if I hit this button, whoops. Really? That should work. There we go. So, this is our little growth area. Um, we're going to want to remove this, including that light, and make a base growing stuff maybe right here. 
Just so that we can kind of collect stuff a lot easier. Um, it's an idea. It's an idea. Um, yeah, you're good now. So 16 is more than enough for our water. Uh, next thing I want you to make me is a motorcycle. So the game is, I mean, it's its not easy, but it's also, it's also not hard. It's one of these things where it's fun, it's creative, it's very adventurous, and overall I actually enjoy it quite a bit. I'm just hoping that this corn doesn't go bad soon. Though I really don't need to worry about that, right? Is I don't have the ability to do anything with it. Let's go! Uh, motorcycle is pretty much your first method of uh, transportation in this game. And for warning, if you guys ever do play it, or ladies, um, it's hard. So I'm just going to put this machine here. In the water. Hit F. Uh, shift click and now go back to the base. And just let it do its thing. It's now gonna grab water out of the uh, the lake for us. We're going to talk about our plans for our, um, I think these berries go bot, go, get, like they, they go, they go bad quicker. I also want to grab, oh, that was just a plant fiber. Your motorcycle despawns on you, so you always got to make sure you, uh, grab it. Um, let's make some storage containers for ourselves now, which we can't actually do, because we don't have it unlock them. Um, there we go. Storage and containers. Uh, let's some tools. Not to worry about any of you. We're going to unlock the assault rifle. I want to unlock the cannon turret. And I also want to get ready to start unlocking the hover vessel as well. We're going to need three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 12, 13, 14. Actually, we might already have enough. Oh, we had just enough to unlock it. So, we can now build, technically, a hover vessel to run around uh, this area, which we'll, we'll build very, very soon to get ourselves going. That's probably going to be in the next episode. We'll have to get all the, the stuff together to do that. In the meantime... Um, I'm trying to remember what I need to build in the base here. So we got you... You know what? Let's actually make a hover vessel our next priority and we're actually going to build that in the next episode and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to try and build because I need food to go bad before I can do anything else so yeah in the next episode we're actually going to build our very first hover vessel and we're going to get that out uh, pretty quickly actually quick very quick and soon uh, we don't really need much on it we need a generator some fuel tanks a cockpit some hover engines, some thrusters, some cargo boxes. Can we unlock the, uh, the shutter doors? Can't unlock them until level five. But the best part is, while you're building stuff and laying blocks, you learn XP. You earn XP. So we're almost level five anyway. So just by building the hover vessel, we'll be earning XP, which is hilarious. So with that in mind, I'll see you guys in the next episode when we go to build 
our Hover Wessel. See you guys then. Bye-bye.